Good morning, student. As you know, we have started new chapter, the animal world. And you know very well, three essential of survival, water, energy, oxygen. We have discussed before water. Now, today we are going to learn about energy. Let's begin the reading from page number 14. Energy. Animal need energy so they can do all the things that they do. Energy comes from the sun. However, it is not the direct sunlight or heat that give us the energy we need. Energy is passed from one living thing to another living thing through food. Birds need energy to fly. Baby animals need energy to grow. Energy help repair damage to the body. You need energy so that you can run and jump and sing and dance and learn. Thank you. Good morning students. As you know we have read about from page number 14, energy. Now we are going to discuss some important point about energy. All living things need energy to survive. Human, plants, animal need energy to survive. Baby, animal need energy to grow. And birds need energy to fly. So they eat grain, seed and small plant and insect. We need energy to do all the things. Energy help to repair our damaged part. So we need to eat protein. We need to eat food which rich with protein. If we don't eat food with the protein, you may feel tired, sick and your body may not prepare properly. Good morning students. Now we are going to learn how the energy transform from one living things to another living things. Let's begin reading with me from page number 15. A food chain shows us how energy is transferred through food. Energy, sun. Producer, grass. Primary consumer, grasshopper. Secondary consumer, shrew. Territory consumer, owl. The process starts with plants. Plants use sunlight as well as water and minerals from the ground to make their own energy. Plants are known as producer. Some animals get their energy directly from plants. They are known as primary consumer. Some animals get their energy from animals that have eaten plants. They are known as secondary consumer. Some animals get their energy by eating secondary consumer. They are known as territory consumer. Thank you. Good morning students. We are going to learn about food chain. A food chain shows us how energy transfer from one living things to another living things. Producer. Energy food chain start with the producer, then primary consumer, secondary consumer. A territory consumer is a consumer which eat primary and secondary consumer and get their nutrition. At every stage of energy, some energy lost. Some energy is lost because the consumer maintain their own body temperature to keep it constant. Consumer pass 20% energy to another consumer. Thank you. Good morning students. Let's begin our copy work. Answer the following question. Repeat after me. Question number one is, why is energy important for animal survival? Why is energy important for an animal survival? Answer is, animals need energy so they can do all the things that they do. This includes growing, mending the body, moving and everything else. Read after me. Animals need energy so they can do all the things that they do. This includes growing, mending the body, moving and everything else. Thank you. Let's begin the question number two. How do animals obtain this energy? How do animals obtain this energy? Answer is energy come from the sun but if 
is passed from one living thing to another living thing to food. Energy comes from the sun, but it is passed from one living thing to another living thing to food. Thank you.